the fact is that you've made this the, the journey to make this film was was quite a, a long one and just and, and so was it like maybe if you can go through like the, the kind of process it was to finally take the film to to, to being to coming to can and all that stuff um yeah i uh i guess it started obviously with with writing, I was producing um, my partner Antonio Campos's movie After School, and started to think about what my first feature would be. Um, and then I just started doing research and compiling everything, and, and started to write and um, wrote the script for a few years. Um, but you know, it, it really started to take off in 2009, I guess. Um, uh, Ted, Ted Hope uh, saw After School. And then he uh, asked what else we had, and he read the script. And when he got involved, um, things started to get moving. And uh, then I made the short, Mary Last Scene, which was like a sort of a prequel in a way. Um, I just wanted to do something that was related, but also not from the film. Um, so I'd done all this research about how people got involved in cults, but never uh, it never made it into the movie. So I wanted to do a little piece about that. Um, and then it just started to build from there, and then I, you know, I made the short, and it got into Sundance, and then the script got into the lab at the same time, the Sundance lab, and then um, it was just really great timing, and then I got into Fortnite with the short, and then went back to the, <laughs> the director's lab of last summer, and then um, as I was at the lab, we were sort of on the fence about how we were gonna make the film, if we were gonna sort of wait and try to raise more money, or go ahead and make the film like we had been making all our other films uh, and I just wasn't sure where I'd be when I left and then so uh, my producers were sort of prepping as I was there and uh, with a week left there in June last year I decided to go ahead with it so then we went right into pre-production and rewriting and we shot last August and edited all fall and then showed at Sundance and then... The turnaround was really <laughs> crazy. I mean, the, the, it really was shooting and then like a month and a half later you guys were, you know, in, 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 in you know, Park City. Yeah, and, well, we, we were cutting um, while we were shooting, so I watched an assembly like a few days after, um, a few days after we got done shooting. So, um, and, and the way I work with my team, we've worked together for so long, there's such a shorthand at this point. And I also like to work quickly because... I feel like uh, I just make decisions well when I have to make them fast. It's when you have when I have like too much time to think about it that I get into trouble. So um, uh, yeah, it just you know it was it was fast, but not really. Like I've been living with it for so long and writing it for so long, and and I've done all this preparation that it just um, it just made sense and it just worked. Was the casting of your lead a fast decision then when you first saw her audition, or is it? Um, did it take a while to find? It took. I mean, it took a while to find her. Uh, I mean, my casting director had sort of uh, had had mentioned that she would bring her in sort of later, you know, later in the process, and she liked her for it. Um, but I saw everybody I could who fit the description, and and um, you know, it's it was. I guess casting was only about a five-week process anyway. Just uh, just sort of casting in New York and seeing everyone you can, and um, but you know, I, I she was I knew she was it when I saw her. So. What is it about Elizabeth's kind of? Was it the presence or the way she kind yeah. of like? What, what is it about her that you felt that? Because she carries the film, you know, yeah. she's in every scene, so yeah. it's a lot of pressure to put on somebody who yeah. maybe not have the she, kind of. She never. It was her first lead role, and so it was definitely. <clears throat> um, it was it was really just her presence and and she has a, sort of a a depth, I think, and, and I sort of sensed that right away, and an ability to um, sort of, I could just I could just tell in our auditions there was a lot going on inside, and, and I knew that she sort of needed to, to like, you know, I could imagine her being in close-up and and um, and not doing anything, but you could see everything happening, and that's what Martha needed to be, and that's what I saw in her. Last question, to be at the Cannes Film Festival, what was the experience like last night when, when you kind of saw oh. it with the public, and <laughs> are you still getting over that yeah. high? Yeah, uh, it was it was amazing. I mean, everything, you know, it's such a special place and such rich tradition, just to be a part of it is great. <laughs>